Well, good day again. Uh, Swati Karp. Uh, it's uh, Monday. It's uh, been rather cool. Well, <laughs> we talk about cool. It's actually a nice, you know, warm, you know, 31 degrees Celsius. Um, it's been a little bit overcast this morning, so it's it's not too hot. And we're going to head off uh, to that uh, small cafe up uh, uh, in uh, Dakin Patong. Uh, we went there a couple of weeks ago, and it was fully booked up with two-hour wait. Uh, well, it's a Monday. They said come and do in the weekday, so we're going to do it there. Uh, today. Um, we're obviously taking the bikes out and uh, Pa's coming with us today um, on the M-Slayers that, <laughs> that we sold him. <laughs> um, anyway, so come along with us. Uh, I'll, I've got the ride camera on there so you'll see what's going on and where we're going to as well. And the navigator is on as well, so yeah. Anyway, we'll uh, catch up you when, when we get there. Well, we got here alright without any problems. Um, sometimes the mapping, yeah. I had the quickest route, but Thai seem to know better and go longer routes. So I don't know why. That is part of the part of what we do. 
Anyway, we got a little spot here, have we already? Oh no, it looks like we're waiting to get a seat. Yeah, so the place must be fairly popular. Like this is a Monday, you know, like people are supposed to be working. Okay, it might be lunch because I might be coming here for lunch. But, uh, we're still in a queue. Um, the food better be pretty good. Well, it's going to get a pretty bad review from me, seriously. Uh, oh well, see how we go. The place looks pretty nice though. I did see some photos on uh, on Google Maps there. They had a whole bunch of photos for this place, um, and it really looks quite pristine. Uh, very well, nicely nicely laid out and uh, it has a sort of water feature around the edge uh, and planking and platoons and yeah Up to you, so, darling. And I stay for only people, but you can walk yep. along with it all. It's okay. Wherever you want to sit, darling. It is some. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Up to you. you walk away for long. Up to you, darling. You can choose. You have skin mark from your balaclava, darling. Yes. Yeah, so we are. We're going to wait. For, we're going to get the seating at the top. There's only three, uh, uh, three positions waiting for the top section. Uh, so we've got seven down the bottom section. Not quite sure what the differences are. I think down the bottom section was a bit closer to the water. Um, a little bit more trees around the place, but you know, when you come into a you know a distro, <laughs> it's about the food. Uh, yeah, we'll go and have a walk around in a minute, sorry, right, yeah. Um, but we'll still wait for the three seats and then um, uh, order and I might take us and take some shots and camera work and everything else. See how it goes from there. So I was wondering why the uh, phone wouldn't reroute the map. Uh, I still had my Wi-Fi turned on uh, and the hotspot was turned off on my other phone, so it was working in cache data. Um, so unfortunately the rerouting option is actually done in the cloud. It's actually not done on your phone. It's the first time I knew that. I would have thought that the phone might have still rerouted, but uh, probably just not enough processing power or any up-to-date information probably, I don't know. Um, anyway, um, normally I have no problems with the mapping function uh, and the, uh, what do you call it, the, the map navigator. Uh, but as I said, I knew where I was going anyway. And Shanya was leading, so, well, Shanya was leading, Pa was leading. Nobody was really moving, <laughs> who gives a damn who was leading. This is one of the things you get to, I think longer trips where we've never been before. <laughs> it might be a bit of a problem, but we've already been here, so. Uh, it was really just showing you obviously the position of the mapping and how it sort of works. Uh, it makes it actually quite easy to sort of navigate to any place in, in Bangkok, except for those little challenging um, interchanges, you know, when you've got sort of, you know, uh, what do you call it, elevated roads and sub roads and U turns and everything else, those big interchanges. You can get the whole you know, telephone thing really sort of, you know, wound up into a little bit of tizzy. You make the wrong exit <laughs> or the wrong side. <laughs> You might have to travel on three kilometres to, to move back again. She was just complaining that she was too hot and I said, why don't you take your jacket off, darling? <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> you forget. <laughs> She'd rather have a jacket on than get burnt. <laughs> I think that's so funny. You know, there's, a, there's thousands of women in Australia, darling, that would kill to have your tan. They really would. Well, of course, here's the first negative side of the place. Better be good food. They're not catering for any foreigners at all. The menu is completely in Thai with pictures. Uh, well, I suppose the pictures look really good, but you know, um, it really doesn't tell you what the menu, what the meal is. Pricing looks fairly reasonable, yeah, and they don't have a menu in English. Um, so you know, as a you know, as a destination for people travelling into Thailand or foreigners coming here. They're going to be a bit challenged if they don't know what they're looking at. Um, so that's a minus one for us on that one already. I'm sure we'll work out something. I was doing some aerial survey uh, work <laughs> from Google Maps <laughs> the other night. And there's a whole bunch of these little cafe type uh, bistros 
along the, to the uh, Tachan River. Um, and they all probably make a good uh, little you know, uh, afternoon ride out. Um, again, trying to work out how busy they might be. <laughs> they might be in for a long ride to, to get nothing. Um, but uh, I do hope to explore a few of these little places. Um, now Google Maps is actually quite good for that. If, you, if you've clicked on and looked at a few uh, already, it starts to think about the fact that you're looking for that sort of thing. And I've only just started noticing these little, uh, you know, what are red dots on there with the knife and fork, uh, which is the indicator that there, there's food available. And so, you know, doing that and then sort of looking at the aerial map um, in, in satellite view, um, you can sort of get a bit of an idea where it is, how close it is to the river and so on. Uh, there's one that um, I saw last night that I really do want to do, want to go to. It's actually bit halfway between here and Jessica Museum, uh, which is something we did uh, in December two or November December 2016. It's on the Charm River. It's on the actual other side of the river. Uh, so it's a bit of a bit of a jaunt and a bit of a, a fun bit of a navigation to get there. Um, but uh, the photos look absolutely wonderful. Uh, so we might we might try and do that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir, we're not ordered yet, so okay, we, we order when we sit. One thing I really detest is ordering and waiting for cold food. Right. Me, I like food hot, so we order when we get to the table. Because that's one of the things I really detest is cold food. Okay, so this is the seating for the lower area which had the longer queue and it looks like what you got is you've got a little seating areas with umbrellas. Uh, uh, we're, you know, surrounded by water. Um, very good photo opportunity. And of course, you know, where we are here is up next to the bistro. And they've got a air conditioned place inside there as well. I'm not quite sure um, how you would organise that. But it didn't look like there was three queues. But it's quite comfortable here. It's not too hot. Now we're just going to work out what to eat. Anyway, so I've ordered the spaghetti, and um, interesting enough, it's actually done al dente, um, so that's pretty good. It's quite a nice, rich tomato sauce, um, so I haven't done a bad job of that. And then there was what uh, 89 baht. Um, what else did? Shannon has also ordered a. Uh, have you got the um, cup at me? Fried rice ham, beef fried rice pork. Okay, fried rice ham and fried rice pork. Tom yum. And she's got tom yum coming as well. Try, you tell me what you like. Pardon? Try. You say okay. Okay, what do you think, darling? Aroma. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Aroma. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Well, I guess if the Thais say it tastes so good, tastes good <laughs> you really can't go wrong there. So, uh, must be good. Coffee's actually not too bad as well. Nice and rich. I've gone for a nice coffee. And they've gone for, um, what do you call it, uh, iced tea. Never, never like tea. Dried leaves boiled. <laughs> <laughs> in an ice. <laughs> anyway, let's go and eat some food. And here's the final dish, a tom lum, tom yum lomit. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's a seafood type, uh, seafood, uh, spicy seafood. Oh, very spicy. Uh. So I guess it's a place where you do a lot of photo shoots. Well, apart from the menu being in Thai, it's probably about the only negative I can give for it. Food was great, the spaghetti was great, Shanda says the rice was great, the tom yum was great. Um, the service of the meals came out very quickly. Uh, coffee is good um, and very well priced um, for, the, for the setting. I think it's, uh, you know, well, I'm no expert at this sort of stuff, but if there is, you know, one being bad and ten being good, um, I'd give it probably uh, an eight. Um, but uh, you know, like again, uh, we're all we all have different ideas of what's good 
Um, I don't think it's worth a trip out if you're going this way. Uh, I probably wouldn't make the trip out just to come here. As I said, there's a fair on at uh, Lockway King today, so we'll probably stop off there on the way back home, um, and have a look around again and make note, um, as you do. But uh, yeah, it was worth it was worth the day trip out. And I said we don't get too many days where I can spend with my girl, and too many days where we're going out for a ride when it's not too hot. Hey, ride, darling. You're not too hot, darling. You feel okay now? You're good. Okay, so that uh, came to 504 bar for the four plates and the two and the coffee and the two iced teas. So I guess it wasn't all that bad. It just seems a little bit, you know, like running all the way out here, uh, having to wait in a queue on a Monday and everything else. So that takes a bit of the edge off the, the whole thing. But as I said, it's a really nice setting. If this is the sort of thing you really get into, um, and it's worth the trip out here. Anyway, so we'll just jump on our bike. There's it's my girl. Come now, darling. Oh, you nearly lost your glasses in the water then, darling. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you again, guys.